2022 Jeep Gladiator Review, The Best Made Better. Two years ago, Jeep finally introduced a pickup truck in the USA. Called the Jeep Gladiator, its name immediately conjures up images of sliding through tight gravel bends, chucking mud while crawling through a swampy marshland, and jumping over dunes. The Russell Crowe of trucks, then, but with better manners. Jeep enthusiasts will know what it really is it though, a pickup version of the Wrangler they all love, but instead of using the Wrangler's platform, it inherits mechanical aspects from the Ram 1500. Despite this, it competes in the midsize truck segment, where rivals include the Toyota Tacoma, Ford Ranger, and Chevrolet Colorado. As you'd expect, four-wheel drive is the only drivetrain for this truck, but what you might not expect is that in addition to a 285 horsepower gasoline V6 with a 7,650 pound towing capacity, Jeep also sells the Gladiator with a 260 horsepower 3.0 liter diesel V6 generating 442 lbft of torque from the Ram 1500. When it comes to midsize trucks, few have the presence and off-road capability of the Gladiator, but in a cutthroat segment in a country as obsessive over trucks as the USA, the Gladiator won't have it easy, and with the price of the Jeep truck being on the high side, the brand loyalists will need to be its biggest supporters. 2022 Jeep Gladiator Changes, What's the Difference Versus the 2021 Jeep Gladiator? After a big year of changes last year that included the introduction of the 3.0-liter V6 EcoDiesel engine and a slew of special editions, 2022 is a year of consolidation for the Gladiator. It is essentially a carryover model without any changes, although Jeep is known to introduce special editions at any time and we could see one or two as the year progresses. In other news, it's worth noting that, as part of the dual door group option, Jeep Performance Parts now offers half doors with a choice of upper door assemblies for the Gladiator to enhance the feel of open air freedom. Pros and Cons Standout Design Decent Towing Ability Extremely capable off-road. You can remove the roof and doors. Usable rear seat space. Intuitive Uconnect infotainment. Not the most refined highway cruiser. Steering not the most responsive. Noisy cabin. Safety features cost extra. Handling and driving impressions. Like the Wrangler, the Gladiator suffers from poor road manners. We can excuse this to a certain extent, given that it was built with off-roading in mind. The vague steering is extremely annoying on the road but an advantage when driving swiftly on dirt and sand. As anyone with high-speed dirt driving experience will tell you, the secret to smooth direction changes is minute steering inputs. Having sports car-like steering will result in some serious scratches on the roof. Having said that, it's getting more difficult to forgive Jeep these mistakes. We now live in a world where cars like the Land Rover Defender and Toyota Land Cruiser offer serious off-road potential, but without feeling so wayward on the blacktop, and our experience overseas with a Ford Ranger Raptor really gives us reason to believe Jeep needs to do better. There are three different four-wheel drive systems to choose from. The first is Command Track, standard on the Sport, Overland, and Mojave. This is an old-school part-time 4WD system with rear-wheel drive, 4WD high, and 4WD low. It's a basic setup that works well, especially if you want to do big, epic slides in the Mojave. Like most part-time systems, you can't use the 4WD high mode on the tarmac, as it will only result in axle binding and the damage that comes with it. Jeep must have noticed the complaints regarding the Gladiator's uncooperative handling nature on road because you can now opt for a 4WD system called Select Track. It has the same driving modes as the standard setup but with one extra mode. In the standard 4WD system, the center differential is permanently locked, splitting the power 50:50 between the front and rear axle. Select Track offers a 4WD high mode with an unlocked center differential, allowing the front and rear axles to operate independently. Finally, there's the part time 4 1 Rock Track, standard on the Rubicon. You get the same driving modes, but with an extra low crawling gear. As an added bonus, you can also disconnect the sway bar for added wheel articulation in true Jeep fashion. In short, 
there's now a 4WD system for every driving situation. If you want a Gladiator that offers optimal grip at high speeds on tarmac, Selectrac is the best option. For serious off-road duty, Rocktrack is the best option. We can't discuss the handling and driving impression without mentioning the Mojave model specifically. It's basically a Raptor competitor, equipped with lifted 2.5-inch Fox internal bypass shocks with external reservoirs to keep the heat low. Throw in some hydraulic bump stops, and you have a serious off-roader that wouldn't look out of place competing in the Baja 100. It's an odd driving experience, and you have to build confidence to exploit it fully. In the beginning, you brace for an impact after bravely jumping a dune, but the impact never comes. After a while, you learn to trust the suspension, but finding that limit and learning how to drive what is essentially a truck with an off-road racing suspension takes time. Verdict, is the 2022 Jeep Gladiator a good pickup truck? The price of the Jeep Gladiator is relatively steep, starting at $34,645. That's okay, because it's more of a niche product than an outright rival to the likes of the Toyota Tacoma. Toyota drivers believe in durability and reliability above all else, and are unlikely to be swayed by a removable roof and doors. If anything, Jeep will be pilfering sales from itself. The Wrangler is also a hardcore off-roader, which asks its owner to make some sacrifices in terms of daily usability. The Gladiator does almost everything the Wrangler is capable of but wrapped in the appealing body of a pickup truck, which seems like a solid alternative to us. To be blunt, the Gladiator brings nothing new to the table. What it does is inject some fun into the midsize pickup truck segment, which is a refreshing change from the usual bean counter driven product planning we're used to seeing. Since there is such a wide spread of abilities within the range, the 2022 Gladiator is a vehicle that caters to both hardcore off-roaders and those looking for a smaller alternative to the F-150 Raptor. Since Ford doesn't offer the Ranger Raptor in the USA, the Gladiator Mojave gets to play around in a segment of one. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.